time for another unboxing from Kamika. That's right, Kamika. Today we're checking out the Kamika Boom XD Pro with 2.4 gigahertz onboard recording wireless microphone. And the nice thing about this one is it does have two wireless transmitter packs and each one has eight gigabytes of onboard recording memory. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. watched the channel before in the past, you do know that I am very familiar with the Kamika products. I used to use these little wireless lavalier packages when I would do conferences in California or when I was working with Meta and Facebook in the past. Five, six years ago, these units were coming out and they were very good at the time for what they could do. Even if they weren't at the highest level of professionalism, they still allowed you to get things done when you were in a pinch. Even the Boom XU Pro that came out before this needed to have some kind of an interface that you had to plug into in order to get your recordings. And if you're running around a conference, it just becomes a little bit inconvenient when you have to plug that thing into a cell phone or some other interface like a computer to get the recording actually captured. So this is where the Boom XD Pro comes in handy because it does have those onboard recording gigabytes available for us we can pretty much record all day, right? Pretty much all day. Let's take a look. Pretty sleek looking, looking pretty cool. I did go ahead and opt for the white version because I wanted to make sure it actually stood out and popped as opposed to just blending in. I thought that that would actually be something I could use to my advantage. One of the big benefits of this product is the fact that you can record analog or digitally, right? You can put it on the onboard memory or you can also put it with the receiver and that's going to allow you to get that in real time capture. As well as that, you can pull the files from the actual things here you're going to be able to put in the USB-C in the side, plug that into either a phone or a computer and actually get the file from it. So for my purposes, I need to have two microphones because I'm going to be interviewing two people at once. And in order to do that, I need to be able to give one person one pack and the other person the other pack. And sometimes I'm going to be able to have a computer or a phone nearby where I can directly record the audio straight to that device. Other times, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to be able to just hand these to them, actually make sure the recordings are captured on the devices themselves, and then pull it off at a later time. Super convenient. So let's find out what else is in here. Charge cables, lavalier, another lavalier, two lapel microphones, audio cable for phone, audio cable for camera. One feature I almost forgot right here is the fact that you're able to record two files at once. The first audio recording is gonna come at the setting that you applied it at, and the second recording is gonna be negative six dB from that file so that you have a safe recording. It's not gonna clip, let's say if you're in a loud environment or if the person yells too loud or says something, instead of having that distorted, awful audio sound, you will have that other file with the lower gain so that you can use it for multiple purposes. A nice safety feature and I'm super excited about that because I can't tell you how many times I've come back from a conference and had a lot of audio that was clipping because of the time I couldn't quite hear it or I didn't have the opportunity to use in your monitor. <laughs> test these out and try the sound see how well it works right let's go ahead let's, let's, let's see how it sounds all right check 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 checky check check ah come on okay so you can see when i'm talking in one of them you can see the a side is going real high if i put that one down and i pick this one up and i go all right so we can choose one to be B, one to be A. Okay, so as I just found out, we have three modes. We can either put it onto mono, which means both of these are gonna come through the exact same channel. You're not gonna be able to edit the different levels of each of them. If you put it into stereo mode, both of them are gonna come through in different channels on the final receiver. And if you put it into safety mode, it's gonna come through as one of the higher channels and one of the lower channels, both in mono again. Uh, this, of course, doesn't take into the context that we can click this button on the side, this little orange button that orange button is gonna let us record right we can actually record on the individual Hit the button once you see the recording light blinking you know that the device is actually recording to the onboard memory and we're able to just talk to it just like this and yeah you can hear me right here on this microphone without any lapel microphone plugged in just yet so we're gonna go ahead and test it I'm gonna have my son and I, we're gonna walk around outside and see how well it sounds when we're walking around without lapel microphones as well as with lapel microphones. So let's go ahead and cut to outside and we'll see how it sounds. Oh yeah, and we got these little wind screens right here. Kinda looks nice and fuzzy, but it's cool. So when you that walk around, so yeah, fuzzy. yeah, it's cool. So okay, fuzzy. let's go outside, let's go outside. Yay. <laughs> there you go. Up to right now, we're gonna hit the orange button on the sides and we're gonna start recording with each of them. There it goes, there it goes, okay. 
So we're gonna put B on Daniel right here. Daniel, go ahead and give us a... What does B mean? Testing it. Testing, testing. Yeah, on my swing, when he go put me the on the swing. Yeah, 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 yeah. E-F-G-H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P. -E what do you want, you want me to push you? You want to do up down? What do you want yes. me to do? Push me! Oh, and we got, a, we got a noisy car going by, so we can actually test the sound levels for the noisy car. I wonder what that sounds like. Do you think that they can hear him on the microphone? That sounds like... We'll what? find out, right? We're going to find out if they can hear us on the microphone. All right, here we go. Ooh, ah. All right, there we go. Oh. <laughs> that was so, so... I, it, was it good? I'm feeling on my back. You can feel... Does it hurt or is it fun? It's a, a little fun. It's a fun feeling? Mm -hmm. It makes your back tickle, huh? It may, it's making my foot because it's grass. Oh, the foot's tickling, huh? Here we go. One more time. Oh, here. gosh. Whoa. Did you feel that All right, cool. So. The first time when I swing, like, when it has been a long time when I swing, and then when I swing, it has that feeling. Yeah? Then yeah. when I do it again, I don't. I know what you mean. All right. You want to switch to the lapel microphone now? Let's go ahead and switch to the lapel oh, microphone. microphone. Yeah, is, we're going to switch to the lapel microphone. What does that mean? It's the other one that, that, that switches into it. All right, all right. So. Check one, two, three. That's right. Check, check. So you can hear the microphone right there with the actual windscreen. Now we're going to switch over to the lapel part of the microphone, right? Let's do it. Yeah. All right, once it's plugged in, I can see a little chain on here telling me that it's actually plugged in. You better go like this. Here we go. One, two, three. All right. How's that working? Now, what we have to do is we have to test the actual handheld microphone. Now, what we have to do is we have to test the actual handheld microphone. The handheld. Okay, and to end the video, we have one more accessory we want to show you guys because we're going to be doing some interviews out and about, and there's one thing you need to be able to have, and putting the microphones on people is just not always convenient, especially if you're trying to walk up and ask questions, right? So, we do have the Kamika HRWM. That's right, Daniel, open it. All right, so the Kamika handle is just that. It's a, it's a nice all aluminum handle. It feels nice and rugged, sturdy. It's not gonna break on you, but it's just that. So you can just stick in not only the Kamika type microphones, but anything else that's small like this. If it's an off-brand or a DJI or even like a Rode microphone, it's gonna be able to slip in here and work as well. So let's go ahead and try it out. For branding purposes, you do have this little three inch by two inch plate that allows you to put on a logo if you're gonna be able to just Clip it on there in the front. You want to have that nice professional news organization look. If not, just take that off. We do have the top windscreen right here that just pops on right there. The Kamika logo if you want it. Otherwise, flip it around. Here we go. What's going on, guys? So, yeah, let's take a look. And uh, we're going to get rid of this microphone right here. I have something I need to ask you a question. Daniel, tell me, what do you think? Hey. Exactly. You know, what's the best movie in the whole world? That's a great movie. Okay. It's a great movie. What is the best candy in the whole world? That's a great candy, Daniel. I really like that candy, too. Best cereal in the whole world. Lucky Tums. Favorite dance move in the whole world. Ready? What's this dance move called? The Floss. The Floss. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are done with the actual Comica microphone review today. This is the last part of the actual review. We're going to go ahead and leave it with Daniel. He's going to sing us a song. Here you go, Daniel. Sing us a song. Here you go. La, 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 la. All right, guys, here we are at the end of the video, and I have one last thing to show you. This little device right here, the Comica XD Me, that's right, it's a little device that allows you to attach uh, a little add-on to your cell phone, which then enables you to stream these little Comica devices directly to your cell phone without having to connect them with any 3.5 millimeter cables or going into any kind of interface in that way. Not only does this make recording with the Boom XD Pro even more convenient, but it even has a nice little headphone jack so I can keep track of what the audio sounds like live and in person and prevent just any clipping issues whatsoever and just make sure this audio sounds great. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So we just plug this guy in just like that, right? And then it, uh, it powers it on and all we have to do is turn on the receiver and then it starts to work. Let's, let's try that. 
Okay, and there you can see with the Boom XD Me, we're able to get the audio to wirelessly jump right over to our cell phone with this little add-on right there on the bottom, which makes, again, this microphone even more convenient. I really love the ability to plug this thing into pretty much anything and everything that I need. Uh, the simple fact that I can use this and you know use the USB-C directly to my cell phone or to any audio interface such as my computer directly pops right in there and it just works. So I'm going to go ahead and keep testing this out. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around for the entire video. Here at the very end, I'm going to show you a quick clip from Bitcoin Conference 2024. I was there in Nashville, Tennessee just a few weeks ago and I used this microphone. So I'm going to show you what it sounds like with the original actual background noise from the camera and then I'm going to show you what it sounds like on the end quality you know what the actual video sounds like using this microphone and obviously the big difference is one you hear a bunch of noise and background crowd and on the other one you can hear just a nice isolated voice so uh, go ahead and, and check that out and I'll see you in the next video until then bye so we're, we're showing off our enterprise dashboard or enterprise OS so mainly we're looking for enterprise clients or your bigger facilities much uh, target audience. Thank you guys. So we're showing off our enterprise dashboard, our enterprise OS. So mainly we're looking for enterprise clients or our your bigger facilities. And that's pretty much uh, our target audience. Big guys. My advice would be stay ahead of the curve on hardware. Make sure you have profitable hardware. Plan ahead. Reinvest profits in, into uh, into hardware as long as your power costs are cheap enough for it to make sense. Efficient hardware is more profitable, more reliable. You know, newer the hardware is more reliable. So that's that's what I would say. Yes.